quality of education is under serious threat at Chinchimfia in the Chifuatimokwa district of the central region. This is due to lack of exposure to technology and modern educational materials. It's a report by Ajo Adubia Usu. The Chinchimfia community, located about two hours' drive from the district capital, Chifuatimokwa, has no access to electricity or telephone network. This makes it difficult to reach anyone during emergency cases. The Tintimsha DA Basic School has only six trained teachers from kindergarten to JHS 3. The school does not have the necessary teaching and learning materials to help pupils understand what they are being taught. A teacher at the school, Desmond Abekubaini, lamented the difficulties. When you compare um, the children or the peoples that we teach over here, it is very different from the peoples living in the cities. I, I figured out that the people here are not exposed to some of the things out there. Teaching ICT, see, um, we teach the children in abstract ways. They are not, the materials are not there for them to interact with, making it very difficult for them to understand concept. Teachers say they rely on their own creativity to be able to impact knowledge. If we want to have quality peoples and even in the near future get quality students, then we should be able to provide the right resources for peoples and schools in rural communities. The Sustainable Development Goal 4 is to ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and promote lifelong opportunities for all, but this can only be achieved if the peoples at Sintimshia community are provided with the necessary teaching and learning materials. Even more, roads from Ayase to Tintimshe in the central region have become unmotorable. This is negatively affecting economic activities and healthcare delivery in the community. From Mayase to Tintimshe is about an hour drive, but traveling on the stretch can sometimes take about two hours due to the poor nature of the road. A portion of the road where the only river in the community lies has wooden planks lying on them to allow drivers passage into the community. Even in the dry season, the road was muddy and making it difficult to be used. The community has no chips compound and residents travel to a nearby community for health care. I use the motorbike when going to the clinic, but it makes me develop waist pains. If the road was better, we would have had cars plying the road. The chief of Tintimshe, Seyid Amor II, was worried the delay in constructing the roads could help impede development in the area. In this day and age, we struggle to fix our own roads. One man during the construction of the bridge fell and has since not been well. The district chief coordinator says plans are in place to help address the challenges at Tintimshe.